So we are wrapping up on the week of the UFO sightings. Today is the last day, and if you were actually wondering where to find it, if you've been sort of keeping track, the uh, the place that you're going to want to go to is actually right here, up here in the Polito Bay, or not the Polito Bay, the uh, Sandy Shores area. It's actually going to be above the little, like the alien camp that's in this area. And we're going to be taking a look at it here in a minute. It is daytime in my game, so we're going to have to wait till night. There's actually a way, a uh, sort of a method that you can get basically right up on the ufo so if you wanted to explore the ufo up close uh, i'll show you guys when it gets into my game but before we even get into that i wanted to share something that was interesting uh, that we found in the game files regarding this ufo sighting so the background update that added the daily ufo event is titled update number dash stage one and fun says he wasn't sure if that's because they had to quickly solve the bug that people were teleporting to apartments that was like that weird issue about a week ago on console but he does say the code name that stage one sort of does imply the possibility of more rounds of this event like this may be a multi-week thing and in case you forgot, we do have a couple of other Halloween events happening. And, and someone did ask, maybe like that's why stage one is UFO, because this is what we got first. Stage two could be the Phantom Car. And then the slasher stuff would be stage three. But Fun said, no, that's not, doesn't seem to be the case at least. Because only for the UFO event did there need to be that background code that said stage one. So he says there's no need for a stage two or three for the phantom car or the slasher stuff. So that does make this whole event very strange if Rockstar did want to add more to it. Obviously, we only had the five different locations and they were mainly all up north. And also, they were just sort of there. Like, I don't think we get anything or we will get anything for actually visiting all five, or I guess all seven of the spots that Rockstar had planned for this, this UFO. So that's why we're all wondering, like maybe there has to be some sort of part two to this. I don't know where we get like a cool outfit or something, at least for, for visiting all the UFO sightings. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section on, on what could be, I don't know, like a reward for all this. Like, like what do you think this is all leading towards? Uh, I guess with that being said, though, what we're going to actually do is we're going to go visit the UFO up close. Now, as you might have just seen, I pulled up my phone. It is still midday, so we have a little bit of time. But we are in the terabyte. We called our terabyte because in this terabyte, as you can see, we are at the station to fly a drone. And that is the secret to getting close. Because as most of you guys know, when you get up close to the UFO, it disappears with any sort of vehicle. It flashes, thunder strikes, blah, blah, blah. It disappears, and then you can't really explore it. So it's like, ah, it's cool. I got to see the UFO, but I want to get up close. So we are going to fly the drone in like 10 minutes, whenever it's nighttime. So I'll be right back once it does turn night. All right, so it is nighttime now, and we're going to take this drone right up to this UFO. Hopefully, we are close enough because you do have a, a limit. We may need to drive slightly further in uh, with the terabyte, but of course, with the terabyte, just with any vehicle, you have to be careful not to get too close. Otherwise, this UFO will disappear. But let us see if we can get close. We are close enough. It is not disappearing. So, oh, we're losing connection. Oh, can we get this far? Or is it going to kick us out? Hopefully it lets us just stay on the edge here. But look, here is the UFO in its full glory. Where is, is there no window? Did this thing used to say FIB as well? That is a bright light. Oh God. Wait. How does that make any sense, guys? We lose connection. 
we're going... I don't get this game. The UFO wants us to stay with it. Look at that. We're losing connection when we're... I don't even get it anymore. Here's the bottom. Oh, look at that. Now, the question is... We can go through it. This makes no sense. We're inside of the UFO. All right, what's happening? Where are the aliens? That's all we want to know. Are there aliens? There's nothing. Guys, this is all a scam. There's no aliens. This isn't even real. This is a hologram. We're living in a simulation. All right, this is weird. This is weird. Maybe that's stage two of the uh, of the UFO stuff. I don't know. Maybe it's the FIB coming out saying it was all fake. And we were all bamboozled. Because there's nothing here. There's nothing. This makes absolutely no sense. I lose connection on the bottom, but not on the top. Anyway, so yeah, that is, uh, that's how you can see the UFO up close. You can just get in your drone and boom, you can go right up to it. I also believe this works with the missiles from the Kasaka, but of course those go very fast. So you're not going to be able to just stop and stare like we are doing right here. But if you were wondering what the UFO looked like up close, I guess that's your answer. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. This is uh, this is weird. But anyway, like I said at the beginning, just let me know your thoughts, I guess, on the uh, what a stage two of this UFO stuff could be. What do you guys think? But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy and hopefully you guys have fun hunting down these fake UFOs. Okay, actually, look at the picture I just took. I took the picture as it disappeared. Hold on. Can we view this picture? We have some lovely pictures here from my years in this game. But look. Look. Here is the picture. The moment it disappeared. Has this ever been done before? I don't know. That is weird. I can't make this any bigger though. I might have to go on the Rockstar Game Social Club. Also, that is weird. It's saying this picture was taken at the airport. Oh, this is more interesting stuff. That could just be a bug, potentially. But as you guys, uh, I mean, we clearly are not at the at the airport. Not even close. I'm going to upload this to Social Club. I'll put the full-size picture up right now. Anyway, that's going to do it now for the video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, although I'll see you guys in the next one.